Alrighty, so today we're going to talk about maximums and minimums. And um, this is you know of a polynomial function and the wording that goes along with that. So um, it can be a, you know, a little tricky when you're reading some of these questions because it's not just gonna say, you know, the lowest for the x and the, you know, the, the what, what the x coordinate is and what the y coordinate is. It's the way that they ask the question that tells you what they're asking for. So um, on here, we're just going to kind of read through it. And I know it's a little bit, a um, couple paragraphs here. So a local maximum of a value, um, sorry, a local maximum value of a function is the y coordinate of a point on the graph where there is a local maximum. In other words, the y coordinate of the highest points on the graph, not including the ends of the graph, so we're looking at, you know, what's the highest point on the graph? That's a local maximum. Um, a value at which a function has a local maximum is an x-coordinate of a point on the graph where there is a local maximum. In other words, the x-coordinate of the highest point on the graph, not including the word, um, the ends of the graph, because the ends of the graph can just keep going on and on forever up, you know, um, getting higher and higher there. So we're looking at, you know, if it swoops kind of like a W shape, um, then what is the highest point of one of those swoops, okay? Um, so make sure you're paying attention. So is this a local maximum value of a function or a value at which a function has a local maximum? So there's different wording there, okay? And then minimums is very much the same as far as the wording goes. So a local um, minimum has a value, um, a local minimum value of a function is the y coordinate of a point on the graph where there is a local minimum. So in other words, the lowest point on a graph, not including the end behavior, and a, low, a value at which a function has a local minimum is the x coordinate of a point on the graph where there is a local minimum. In other words, the x coordinate of the lowest points in the graph, not including the end behavior. So again, you can see I'm gonna highlight some more here. So it says a local maximum value, a value at which. So they kind of use both of those in, in either ma maximum or minimum. So it's local maximum value or local minimum value. That has to do with the y coordinate. And then a value at which either maximum or minimum has to do with the x coordinate. So if we look at the questions here, so remember local maximum slash minimum refers to the y coordinate. Value at which function has a local maximum slash minimum refers to the x coordinate. So it's kind of a, an easy way to remember that. Because if you look down here, that's how they're going to ask the questions. All local minimum values of h, all values at which h has a local minimum. So pay attention to how they're asking that question because that's that wording definitely changes which one they're asking for. So in this one, I can see this definitely has a lot of like ups and downs, right? It's got a lot of little swoops there. So it's asking for a minimum in this case. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom two. It actually has two of them, right? So there's two low points on this one. So since it's looking for these ones, I'm gonna say, well, okay, I'm looking for the X and Y coordinates of these, these um, local minimums, but I need to make sure that I'm putting it in the right spot here. So you can see that I've put on here values at which are my X coordinates and local values are my Y coordinates. So again, I like labels, makes it a little bit easier to just remember things um, if I can do that. So down here, I'm just gonna separate them. I'm literally just separating X and Y's. It's kind of a lot like when we did domain and range, you know, back when we separated those out. Um, so it's just another way to refer to them. So I'm just gonna use commas to separate them out. So I have two, um, oop, that should be negative two, sorry, negative two and negative one and then negative th one and three. So make sure, you know, when you're typing hers in, don't actually put two, it should be negative two. Um, and then when we um, do the second one here, so now it's asking for maximums. So now I'm not looking for the bottom points, I'm looking for these top points. So here I have the two top points and I'm gonna list the coordinates here. So I have negative one and two, three and two. So again, I have values at which, those are my X coordinates, local values, those are my Y coordinates. So I only have one Y coordinate here, so just two, but I have two um, for the X. It's, whoop, went back and forth there for a second. Negative one and um, three. So I just use comma to separate those. All right, so I hope that helped. I know the wording can be a little bit funny, but if you can um, kind of make sure that you pay attention, you know, what question are they asking? Local values Y, values at which X. I hope that helped and I will see you in the next video.